Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything is going to be okay. Today, May 17th, 2018, we got some really big news and a lot of big developments in the ARG as well. Sean Murray himself made an appearance on the Xbox live stream. It just happened a few moments ago. I'm doing this video right after it happened. And I'm going to go over what Sean Murray said and my kind of reactions to it. I, I'm worried I'm going to be kind of the downer at this party because, <laughs> of course, a lot of people are really excited and really happy. And yes, a lot of what Sean said is really exciting and really good, but I've kind of got my own take to it. But Sean came on and was interviewed by a guy for, uh, for the Xbox live stream. And basically, all he really talked about was multiplayer. And he gave out the release date, which we already pretty much knew based on like Amazon and other places. He said that the release date is July 24th. And the way he worded it is it really sounds like the update itself, No Man's Sky Next, is coming out July 21st, 24th, sorry, July 24th. Um, and because when the guy asked it, he asked when is the Xbox version coming out, and Sean Murray didn't say Xbox, he said No Man's Sky Next comes out July 24th. And of course a lot of people are trying to backtrack that and say, oh, he was saying when the Xbox version comes out. The the No Man's Sky next update might actually come out before that, but I'm gonna say based on the way Sean worded it, it's almost definite that the update won't be until July 24th. So we've got a little over two months until the update. And I know people are gonna be unhappy about that not not you know basically everybody on PC and PS4 wanted it to be sooner than July 24th but for the time being I'm going to assume that that is when the update is gonna be that it's not gonna be sooner than that even though a lot of people are still trying to say that oh it could still be before July 24th for us on PS4 and PC yeah, I, we shouldn't get our hopes up because the way Sean the way Sean worded it, it's almost definitely July twenty fourth. So anyway, the big thing that Sean talked about, and the only new feature that he talked about, was multiplayer. And of course, people have been talking about that the past day because we got the leaked. What well, past couple days we got the leaked um, Xbox cover art for the Xbox um, version of the game and it had four people on it and I said in one of my videos that this definitely means we're gonna get multiplayer and character models and somebody in one of my in, in that video said that I shouldn't assume that the, the box art proves that it's coming but I was right and so was everybody else that assumed it meant multiplayer because now Sean Murray has confirmed it. And it sounds like that's the main thing they've been working on all this time, was full, actual multiplayer for the game. And what's pe got people real excited, and I'm pretty excited about too, he listed the different things we will be able to do together. We will be able to have dogfights together. Um, and I assume that means we'll be able to see each other's ship. So, We'll be able to fly out in space together. We'll be able to have dog fights in space. Uh, he said we will be able to explore together, which basically we can do now. Um, and he even said something like it'll be possible to have PvP because he, he said something like you can actually go grief other players if you want to be that guy. So I guess it'll be something kind of like PvP. I hope we don't... I hope we can't actually shoot each other and, and hurt each other. If we can, I hope it... I don't know. 
I really don't want an actual PvP where just anybody can come along and shoot you and kill you. Because that's going to make things awful. That's going to make people want to not do multiplayer. But anyway, I'm not going to go into that. But he also said the really exciting thing, which does excite me a lot, is the base building. We can build buildings together, and he made it sound like we can expand beyond what we currently have. Like, he said some things that were a bit vague. He said we could build colonies across planets. And hopefully that means that we can build multiple bases in one star system. Because if you're making colonies across planets, then that would imply that... Because currently you can basically only have one base per star system. After that, the rest won't appear um, in the base share system. Other players won't be able to see the additional bases past that one. Basically, the share system only stores one base per star system. So hopefully what he meant by that was we can now build multiple bases in one star system and everybody will be able to see all of them. And that would make sense if there is actual synchronous co-op that we would be able to see each other building things in real time, fight each other's enemies in real time, if we're able to do everything together at the same time and see the results of what other people are doing then you could like watch someone building a base and so everybody's bases would be visible because it's all synchronized and you're actually there with them um, now, I'm really excited about that. That's going to be great for the Spacing Guild. It's going to be great for all of the hubs that have formed in No Man's Sky. We'll really be able to be together. Uh, multiplayer be great and all that. Now I'm going to get to where I'm going to really be a downer because I've talked about this before with my interview with Robot Boy and um, the Hidden Panda Show's leaders. Um, there's basically two camps of people, well, there, there's at least two camps of people that, about, that, who think of how No Man's Sky should be improved. One camp is the multiplayer camp, and the, another player is the variety camp. Um, I'm definitely in the variety camp, and Robot Boy kind of agreed with me this. I disagreed with this point with the Hidden Panda Show. The Hidden Panda Show, both of its members, Panda and Hidden, both think that multiplayer is more important. Um, and I'm really wor and I told them both, I told all three of those guys that I interviewed, I'm really worried that they would concentrate on multiplayer in the next update and would sacrifice anything else, including planet, creature, ship, variety. Now, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully they've also concentrated on new assets for the game, new biomes, creatures, creature AI, plants. We're, we're, we kind of think, based on the box art, that there is stuff like that coming. There appears to be some different ship assets, which isn't too exciting and we got exotic ships and they didn't add a whole lot to the game but there is also ring a ringed planet on the new xbox box art so that gives me hope that they're going to add new types of planets if they're adding rings to planets we're definitely getting a universe reset they're definitely going to regenerate everything so that we can have ringed planets and there's also some plants and crystal structures on the box art that makes it look like we might have new types of trees and stuff. But I'm not going to claim that that's the case. Um, I'd say that would be assuming too much. Like somebody said, the box art doesn't always mean that about features that are coming into the game. We were right about multiplayer, but we may be wrong about those other things in the box art. Those might just be for show. Although I really think the ringed planets is coming, because I really don't think they would have put a ringed planet if that's not going to be in the game. So, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully they... Well, I'm not really claiming either way, but hopefully 
it's not a case of them working a year to make real multiplayer because that is possible it could have taken them an entire year to because it's it takes more than just programming to create multiplayer you've got to create the infrastructure you've got to have multiplayer servers you've got to get all that connected on four different platforms they've got steam i don't know if downloading on steam is basically the same as downloading on tencent wii game like it's all basically just downloading the same thing or if it's a totally different like i don't know if pc multiplayer is going to mix with 10 or sorry steam multiplayer is going to mix with tencent wii game multiplayer or not um but the consoles multiplayer is almost definitely going to be separate mostly because Sony doesn't like to play with others. Sony's PS4's multiplayer will almost definitely be separate from anyone else's. So not only do they need multiplayer servers, but they need separate multiplayer servers, at least for PS4 and then probably Xbox and then PC in whatever forms it has. So they've got all these servers to get set up. They've got the actual multiplayer um, creating character models, creating the ability to... I guess they're going to take away the ability to pause because right now one of the reasons multiplayer doesn't really work is because you can pause the game while playing with someone in multiplayer. So it's probably going to have to become like Minecraft. You can't pause in Minecraft even if you're playing solo because... If you could pause, then multiplayer wouldn't work. You can't pause the whole world when other people are there playing in real time. So, there's a lot of engine changes, I think, that's going to have to go into the game. Pause is going to have to change. Um, and just the ability to see other people building and, and changing things and killing enemies and character models, multiplayer servers, all that stuff together would explain why it took them a year to do this and it worries me that that's all they've done they've spent all this time getting multiplayer true multiplayer set up and they've spent little or no time improving planets and i mean the planets are pretty good but as you can see from this lush moon i'm on it's extremely flat it's like being in my home state of kansas there's no mountains here. And while there are some steeper plateaus and mini mountains on planets, the terrain is still kind of lacking from where it once was. And lush planets aren't as good as they used to be. This lush planet's pretty good, but this is a moon. Lush moons tend to be better than lush planets for some reason. Lush planets have a lot of bald patches and barren sections. And of course, lots of people want improvement to creatures. Every single one of these creatures, except for the one predator that attacked me, act exactly the same. You get near them, they get scared, they run away. That's all they do. If you run up close to one, you can feed them, and then they stop running for a few seconds, and then they run again. <laughs> Every single creature in the game has the exact same way that they act. They all just run away when you get close. As you can see, as I'm demonstrating now. So people have been saying for a long time, we need creature AI changes. We need them to act a little more dynamic than always doing the exact same thing all the time. <laughs> they either run away from you or they run at you to try to kill you. There's no other way that creatures act. <laughs> um... And of course we would like different creatures and different planet biomes. We, we got exotic planets, but exotic planets are very limited. Um, we got some new ships, but the ships have identical, um, you know, interiors to the ships that already existed. So explorer ships have the same interior as the new exotic ships. So, I'm sounding like I'm complaining a lot, but I'm just, I mean, I would like to be the voice of reason and all the people that are getting really hyped right now. I am concerned if they concentrated totally on multiplayer that it will hurt a bit that 
there won't be as much of an improvement to the generation of planets, which is what we really need, and what we've always really needed, was even more, even better planets than we have now, and better variety to things and things to do. Hopefully, they've added more things to do. Otherwise, there's not going to be much to do, even if, even though we will have multiplayer. Multiplayer is 100% confirmed now. But Sean gave us little in the way of what we can actually do. We can build stuff together, we can dogfight together, and we can explore together. That's basically all he said, and that's basically stuff that we already have in the game. We already have dogfighting, which is also very limited. We have base building, we can see each other's bases already, and we can explore together. So... From what Sean Murray said in the live stream, it doesn't sound like, so far, it doesn't sound like they've added much new stuff that we could do with other players. They've just added the ability to see each other and affect things in real time. So, again, I'm being a real downer, but to me, most of what Sean Murray today was kind of bad news. We... We're not getting the update till July 24th, most likely, which is okay, I don't mind waiting two months. But much more concerning to me is the fact that they may have concentrated fully on multiplayer and not enough on other stuff to do, because I don't think just adding multiplayer is going to make the game much better. But we there is some rays of hope. There's the ringed planets, which may mean that we're getting some different stuff in the game in addition to just the multiplayer. So, as I always like to say, my intro and outro are now everything's going to be okay, so I'm not trying to be the downer, I'm just trying to give my own personal thoughts on all of this, and hopefully I'm wrong and they have added a whole lot more to planetary variety and such in addition to the new multiplayer features. So anyway, sorry, <laughs> spent a lot of time on that, but I need to mention that things are really ramping up in um, Waking Titan. We have a couple new things have happened. Cobra TV... Did I already mention this? I don't think I did. Cobra TV... Oh yeah, I did mention this in one of my base showcases, but it's good that I'm putting it in a Waking Titan report. I guess this is the Waking Titan report, even though I'm mostly talking about Sean Murray and, and his live stream. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm rambling. Um, Cobra TV got a book, Neva Dander and three other people got books. Cobra TV got, like, The Conscious Mind, a nonfiction book about consciousness and a lot of other the other people got like books sci-fi books and such and we think those are like clues to what's going to happen next in waking titan more important is then this is really exciting for those of us who are fans of waking titan the final five glyphs on wakingtitan.com have unlocked they have become available we can't we don't know any of the passwords for them yet but the glyphs have unlocked, and I will put a link to WakingTitan.com in a pinned comment so you can check it out yourself. Sadly, when you click on the glyphs, it gives you a place to input the password, but we don't get any clues. For all of the other glyphs, we've gotten clues. Like in the background, there will be an image, or there will be a link to a website where you can go find the solutions to the to the glyph, but right now there's absolutely no clues. You click on one of the five last glyphs and it, it just gives you the empty password box and no background, no link, nothing. So, pretty safe to assume that it's not possible to get the passwords right now. But most likely, we know something's coming this weekend because one of the messages, in a, we got some other encrypted messages with the precon 007 that the PDF file mentioned, and th four secret messages. Two of them are the same, ETA unknown, ETA unknown, and then ETA 
May 18th and 19th. So we know something is happening Friday or Saturday of this week. Tomorrow, in fact. <laughs> this is the 17th. So tomorrow, the 18th or the 19th, something new is coming. And we know eventually the dev kits are going to arrive. And the last message is, is L Plays Gaming right? So L Plays Gaming got a shout out in the ARG. And I always knew that, that they were starting to take notice of him after the live drop event, which he was basically the star of. Um, so they're, they are kind of recognizing that he's an important player in all of this. And which makes me happy because I always predicted that L Plays Gaming would become a really big YouTuber of No Man's Sky. And now he's getting even more recognition from the Puppet Master, so that's great. Now, so we know that the dev kits are coming to the people who won the wear contest. So we've got something happening this weekend. It may be the dev kits arriving, but other people are saying, no, we're not going to get the dev kits yet. So we'll just have to wait and see. But since the five glyphs have unlocked, that means things are definitely going to ramp up quickly in Waking Titan. I don't know if that means we're going to have five more weeks of ARG, like one glyph per week. Or if there's going to be some huge event this weekend, like a live stream, where we'll get all of the glyphs solved, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see, because, like I said, we're pretty sure now that the update is going to be July 24th. Although some people still are hoping against hope that it's going to be sooner than that. But we're just going to have to wait and see... But things are definitely ramping up in Waking Titan. If all five glyphs have unlocked, that means we should be getting the solutions to them soon. And things are definitely happening. But for now, we're just going to have to wait and see. So I'm going to leave it there. I've rambled too much in this video. Um, it is all pretty exciting, and I'm sorry if I've been a bit of a downer about stuff. But... Here's hoping there's a lot more in the next update than just multiplayer. And I think there probably will be. I don't, I'm not going to be too much of a downer. I think that there probably will be something more to this update besides just multiplayer. And I have nothing against multiplayer. I think it's great. It's going to be great for the Spacing Guild. Um, we will be able to provide a lot, new, a lot more new services... Um, thanks to the, mul the new multiplayer features, but I also would like to see some really cool new planets in the next update as well. But that's about it. Exciting news from Sean Murray, and Waking Titan is really kicking off probably this weekend. So, I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day, and remember, everything is going to be okay.